guys, good afternoon, well, good week, excuse me, good late afternoon, it's uh, late in the afternoon, it's just before 4 o'clock on Sunday, March 26, 2017, um, let's see. The MiG-25 Fox Bad. The Fox Bad was a high altitude interceptor for the Soviet Air Force during the Cold War. It was armed with the Atoll air to air missile. But this aircraft which started its uh, career with its first flight beginning in 1964 and it was delivered to the Soviet Air Force in 1966. As, as armed with four air to air missiles it, it was not armed with a gun. It was not a uh, Get into dogfights. It was to use BVR, Beyond Visual Range Missiles. Just, you know, like the old saying goes, shoot and scoot. Um, two versions of the MiG-25 Foxpad. One is the high altitude interceptor, the other a reconnaissance aircraft version of the MiG 25. But it was one it was one pilot that defected to the US in nineteen seventy six with now get this with his MiG-25 Fox Bad. The two, while well, they took off from an airfield in the Soviet Union, and they landed in Japan, the pilot asked them for a political asylum in the U.S., and it was granted. And he gave the West a nice big surprise. The the MiG-25 Fox Bad here's a surprise. The aircraft would the aircraft is built entirely out of titanium. Now another aircraft, the high altitude Lockheed Martin SR seventy one Blackbird also manufactured out of titanium. This was to be a godsend for the the West. Only three Air Forces operate the, the MiG-25. Uh, the Soviet Union, Libya, and Iraq. A few MiG-25s were shot down during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, and most of the the MiG-25s were left behind by Iraqi pilots at their airfields in uh, Kuwait after Allied forces liberated Kuwait during the air war and the ground offensive. And now today the, the MiG-25 still flies for the Soviet Air Force, but basically none hasn't been heard of the aircraft for quite some time. From the West. The other aircraft that is based around the MiG 25 Fox Bat is the MiG 31 Foxhound. 
the Fox Sound is a hot, excuse me, is a high altitude interceptor that was meant to shoot down U.S. Air Force Rockwell International B-1B Lancer high altitude strategic bombers. Um, when when the Cold War ended in 1991, most of the Soviet Union, excuse me, most of the Soviet Union's uh, military technology had just basically, you know, went into obscure prior to after 1991. The Soviet Union didn't have no money to pay its pilots or no way of maintaining them. Oh, no way of maintaining their their aircraft. Their aircraft had just basically fell apart. As uh, bases were being closed left and right in the Soviet Union. Basically today... <laughs> None hasn't been, excuse me, none hasn't been heard from the MiG-31 Foxhound neither. But, in the 1984 action movie, Firefox, starring Clint Eastwood, uh, Eastwood's character, Mitchell Gant, was given the order to go to the Soviet Union to steal Firefox, which was a MiG-31 Foxhound. The Foxhound, which didn't look like the aircraft that was uh, used in, in the movie, but um, it was based on an actual true story. That happened during the Cold War. Well, just, just before the movie was ever released. In 1983. And... That is it. On the MiG-25 Fox Band. And the MiG-31 Fox Sound. And, um... I'm playing to... Uh, to the YouTube nation out there to please watch my videos. Come on, guys. Stop falling asleep. Check them out. Okay? If you're into sports or if you're into cross-dressing or if you're into unboxing videos or reviews from me, check me out on YouTube. All right? I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate, share, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice evening.